Praise the Lord, church. Oh, my goodness. see me inside me i was ministering to someone yesterday i said that i said i wish you can see how i feel inside yes and how god is communicating with me i want to tell you there is peace mm -hmm. we ask for peace on earth and there's peace here i feel the yes, peace yes. i feel the holy spirit thank in you, me. i feel the holy spirit thank you for your peace, Lord. i will thank the lord yes. as i thank every one of you there that follow us yes. Online, yeah. Instagram, wherever you follow our Facebook, we thank you. Amen. We thank you for your support. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is so kind, yes. so merciful. Yes. What more can we ask for? Amen. You know, I say when you serve the Lord, you serve the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Not a portion of your heart. I spoke with you all many every week, every week and every week that you come in here. Mm -hmm. And those of you listening to us, it's a word of wisdom and a word of God that we pass on to you in order to be able to align with God so that you can get your blessings. Mm -hmm. You know, we spoke about faith about three weeks ago, two weeks ago, or what have you. I was looking at my, you know, my schedule. I said, where are the minute. I went on you to I say we've spoken about faith. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, church, two days ago or a day yesterday, my wife told me, said, Daddy, I want you to speak about faith. Mm -hmm. So I started researching. Mm -hmm. And I started finding the same word that we spoke before. But one thing, bear with me. No matter what topic you're talking about mm -hmm. in the Bible. You can talk about it the rest of your life. There is room. Come on now. Yes, indeed. What you didn't cover yesterday, you will find out today there's more to cover. Yes. Because why? Church, something you read five years ago in the Bible, today is more meaningful and more expanding <laughs> to you. Wow. Come on now. It's called growth. And knowledge mm -hmm. and wisdom. Mm -hmm. You can't be in the same place. You're growing. Mm -hmm. You're growing in spirit. Mm -hmm. Because one thing that we need to realize that boils down to the topic that we're talking about today mm -hmm. faith. Mm -hmm. Before we continue talking about faith, do we know? what faith is all about. Mm -hmm. The foundation of faith. Let's first of all <clears throat> know the foundation of faith. Because as you build a house, whatever you build on earth, it doesn't matter whatever you do, you have to have a foundation. Yeah. Instead of Matthew, you know God said a wise man build his house on a, on a, on a, you know, on a stone. Right? On the set, no, on the law no, on the rock. Mm -hmm. And the other hand, someone else build their house on the sand. Yes. The one that built on the rock when the wind blows stay. Come on now. Hallelujah. It's on Matthew yes. 7 27 or 20, 26. Yes. Then was the one that built on the sand because there's no foundation. What happened? It blew away. Yes, indeed. Hallelujah. Yes. Faith is very powerful. I studied this all night mm -hmm. and beyond. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to cover when you talk about faith. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be listening. We're going to take our lecture today from Matthew, mm -hmm. Mark, mm -hmm. of course, Apostle Paul. Come on contribution. Now. Come on now. Hallelujah. Come on now. And also, if you know, I tell you what, church. Let's look at this. I told myself, I said, sometime before I come here, I said, I'm going to come here quietly and just do things <laughs> in the way so that I can be calm and everything. But I find it every day because one of my daughter told me, he said, Daddy, 
You, I heard you say that all the time. I don't know, I know, but see, <laughs> yeah, two days ago. He said, Daddy, you don't have no control over that. That's what she said. Yes, he said, the Holy Spirit controlling you. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, we are so, look, yes, when you come in here, you come in here and you tune in here to hear the word of God, to That's inspire it. you, to motivate you. Yes. You didn't come here to worship me. Come on now. Yes, indeed. Come on now. Hallelujah. People get, people get this wrong. Yes. You don't go to church to worship the minister. That's you go there to worship for your salvation, seek your salvation. That's it. Come on now. That's it. And we are here to provide you with the roadmap, the GPS, to that through the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on now. And that's where the faith comes in. Because faith, mm -hmm. without faith, you can't please God. Yeah. Faith is one of the key points that build relationship between you and God. You know what, church? Mm -hmm. I'm very happy to be here. This is my comfort zone, mm -hmm. working for the Lord. Yes. I tell people, God speak to me. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. All of you out there that know me, yes, be with indeed. me, worship with me, knows that God speak to this prophet. Yes, indeed. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, indeed. And like I said last week, I told you all that what do you need to remember me for? What do we remember Jesus Christ for? We remember Jesus Christ every day of our life for he gave his life for us. And I told you all, when I was trying to find mine, God spoke to me, said, son, he said, every time I move you up, you always move people with you. That is you right there. Come and on. that's who I am. Amen. So when I'm doing what I'm doing to anybody out there, I don't do it for money. I don't do it for whatever I'm doing for me to have a place in heaven. Come on now. Hallelujah. Because we already said that we have two worlds, two lives as a Christian. One on earth, one in heaven. Yes, and we already spoke about the distraction on earth. There's no distraction in heaven. Come on now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hmm. Hallelujah. But as we walk with faith, mm -hmm. faith is hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? For faith is hope. It's something you look up to that you don't see. Mm -hmm. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> okay? But God said in the scripture, oh, if you trust and believe in me, your faith can move the mountain. That's it. Come on now. You have to trust and believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And then believe in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because it takes the Holy Spirit in you to know what the Spirit is talking about. Amen. That's it. Hallelujah. The Spirit, if you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, you dealing with flesh. You are foolish. There's no way you can hear God. Mm -hmm. yes. You are hearing yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I gave a couple of examples. I did. I was talking with my wife this morning because I saw this gentleman mm -hmm. in my vision. This man I spoke with you about three weeks ago when we were in Houston. Mm -hmm. That volunteered to give us a ride at no cost. Mm -hmm. Ride us around everywhere in Houston. Mm -hmm. And then turn around and two hours, three hours later, I say, call me when you need me. I'll come back and pick you up to your car, take you home. Yes. My, my, my. Thank <laughs> you, Thank you. I say to myself, mm -hmm. I say, this is what God is talking about. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of time when you do things for people, mm -hmm. you don't ask for nothing back. Mm -hmm. God said, be a generous giver. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. This man gave us. He said, I'm not doing this for money. Give me whatever you think. Yes, indeed. Yes. I said, wow. You'll go back to the tape. Mm -hmm. 
I told this man just to call him short. I said, you know what? I called him up or he called me up during the discussion. I said, give me your phone number. I want to seed money to you. Give me your uh, your uh, okay. Zelle mm -hmm. or Kasha. Mm -hmm. It's a prophet. Mm -hmm. I'm the one supposed yes. to be seeding to you. Yes, hallelujah. What did I do? Mm -hmm. I ministered to him about for an hour. Mm -hmm. And God uses us to speak about the life of this man. Yes. And what he's going through and how he's going to get out of it. He said, I'm going to call my wife that I'm a changed man. Mm -hmm. And this man is spiritually connected. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, my dear church, mm -hmm. what he's seeing, mm -hmm. what he's seed yeah. to the church, mm -hmm. come on in, yeah, come on in, come in. God bless you all. Yeah, come on in. Have a seat. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Come on in, come on in, church. What he seed to this ministry, mm -hmm. I can't even say it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to say it. Mm -hmm. Because the glory be to God. Yes, to God be the glory. Yes, wow. We have never met this man before. Never in my life yes. met this man before. Mm -hmm. Give us a ride in Houston. Mm -hmm. Did everything. Yes. You see down there. We prophesied for him for about an hour and a half, yes. right? About an hour. Yes. Prophesied for him. Tell him the story of his life. He said, mm -hmm. How did, what, what is going on here? Mm -hmm. He said, you've changed me. Yes. Just like the man that called us, he said, you want to commit suicide. Yes. Yes. And God said, mm -hmm. what did he tell us? Yes. He said, prophet, you have saved me twice. Yes. 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 Because I told him with boldness, according to God, I said, you got to be stupid. Yes. Yes. No, coward, I use, which is the same. Yes. I said, you're a coward. You say you, left, you love your kid. And then you say you want to go commit suicide. What kind of love is that? Yes. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. Mm -hmm. So the topic today is faith. Amen. We're talking about faith. Mm -hmm. God is so wonderful. Because when you... That's okay. God is probably calling you. Say, take it. <laughs> you know, God is God is a wonderful God. When you talk about faith, you got to have a hope in life. And when you have that hope, you got to trust Him with all your heart. God said something in Mark, Mark eleven, chapter eleven, twenty-four. You look at it. Look what God said. We're going to be going through the scripture in a few minutes. Because we're going to have two sessions of ministry today. We're going to have two sessions of ministry today. After this, I'm going to have a ministry with our members here because God has a message to deliver. Thank you, Lord. God is a good God. God want me to tell you it's not about what you give it's how you give it Come on now. Now, Lord. Come on now. like I told you this man I didn't know him all my life if I tell you what he said to this ministry to God be the glory yes. <laughs> God be the glory made him only an hour and a half but I want to remind you of something you can see the million dollar. You can see five dollar. Yeah. I can see the nickel. Yeah. Your million dollar does not buy you any extra thing from God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just what you ought to know. It's how you give it your generosity, your heart, yes. your faith. Yes. Yes. That's what God look 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 at, mm -hmm. not what you give. How you give it. Yes. He said, "The more you give, the more you receive." Right. But you have to give generous, not something attached to it. That's why I said, whatever you do is all with all with all your heart. Let me go to the scripture a little bit so that uh, I can move to the second chapter while we're here today. First of all, church, let's go and open because if you want to know 
talk about faith, we need to know what faith is all about. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Hebrew mm -hmm. chapter 11 verse 1. Let's start from there. We've got a lot to read today. It's beautiful. This is, man, the best party I ever had is party with the Lord. Come on now. <laughs> you know, because like I said, people need to know when you come here, anywhere you worship, please listen to the message. Because the message is what is going to inspire you. The message is what is not what the preacher is wearing or what he's talking about or anything. Listen to the message because the word of God is very powerful. The word of God is what is going to deliver all from evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1, please. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, go ahead. Blessed be in the name of Amen, 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 amen. Hebrew. You got it? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Chapter 11, verse 1. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes. Hebrew 11, verse 1. Now faith is substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You Have see that? Thank you, Lord. Do you all see that, church? Yes, yes, indeed. So we need to bear that in mind. Substance of what? What you hope for. Yeah. But something you didn't see. You got to have that so that you know what to walk. You know, you it's a it's a motivation, it's a drive, it's a hope. The God be the glory. The God be the glory. Let's go to another. We're going to be reading a lot of scripture. I'm going to let God do it for us because there's some aspect. I want you to listen to this. I wrote it down, please. There's some aspect of uh, faith that we need to know. In whom we believe. Mm -hmm. What do we believe? Yes. Why do we believe? Hallelujah. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Give me Mark eleven twenty four in here. Give me Mark eleven twenty four. We'll see what Mark eleven twenty four. Mm -hmm. See what God what God tells us there. Mark. Yes. Mark eleven twenty four. Yeah, Mark eleven twenty four. I said it a while ago. I think I said it. I can't even find it here, but I know it's, it's uh, yeah. You know, I trust you guys here yeah, to be my left and right hand. Go ahead, Mark eleven twenty four. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mark eleven verse twenty four. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Thank you, Father. Do you all hear what the Lord said? Okay, now, I want to get deep. Can I go deep with your church? All right, now. I want to go so that you all can get. Are you all feeling cool? You all want me to put the air conditioner on? Okay, because I turn it off. Okay. Now, church, I tell you all this. I'm so excited to be here. I love what I'm doing. I love this job that God gave to me to be able to make a difference in people's life. Because God is so good to us. God is so good to us. Now, there are four aspects, stages of faith. We're going to go through that. Because one thing you're going to know, church, there are pastors out there, prophets, Minister, evangelist, whatever is, you, you might claim to be, what you say, uh, mm -hmm. and you perform prophecy. Mm -hmm. you, you perform miracle, amazing miracle, and you say in the name of God, you pray. Yeah. But I want to tell you, it's not everybody that called God hmm. Come on now. that God hmm. really accepts as his own. Come on now, put up the because we are not judging, it's only him that judge. Yes. There are some prophet, minister, every that perform amazing miracle by using mm -hmm. external forces. Ooh. It's been happening back in the day. Yes, People condone which and do trap and what have you. Ooh. Then on judgment day, you're gonna say, Father, I was a prophet. I woke up the day, I did this for you, I did this for everybody. What well, God is gonna tell you, back off. Yes. Okay, he's gonna tell you back off, back from me because 
You are lawless. I know what you must yes, do. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> that is why you have to have faith. That's why I told you, those of you here, those of you out there, you all know who I am. Hallelujah. You all have seen my word. That's why I'm confident. Because the Holy Spirit is in me and He speaks to me. Yes. And every word He has spoken mm. to me come to pass. Mm. That's what everybody said. They say, Prophet, one thing I'm going to tell you is that you are very anointed. They say, Brother, we just said it. He used to be with us. God is so good. Because you cannot destroy the spirit. No. You can destroy the flesh, but not the spirit. Yes, Lord. Mm. What did James tell us? James said to us, he said, if you do not have the confidence or have the faith, the believing faith in you, everything else is dead if you don't have faith in you. It's gone. Come on now. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed. Do you all know something, church? The demon have faith too. Okay? The faith of worshiping idol. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Yes. But one thing you all need to know today, the devil know who God is. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. He know who God is. Okay, now, church, let's take it one step at a time. Let's talk about what James just said. Let's talk about dead faith. Let's talk about dead faith. Now, let's look at James chapter 2, verse 17. James, church, now I'm going to help you all here a little bit. You know. Oh man, I'm so excited because God is so good to us. God is so good to us. God is so good to us. God is a beautiful, he's, a, he's an amazing God. He's doing everything for him to, you know, his only begotten son, he gave it to us. All he wants us to do is to trust and believe in him. Okay, James 2.17. 2.17, read. Let me read it for you. It said, though, also faith by itself, if he does not have work, is dead. Yes, indeed. Hallelujah. I didn't say that. That's what I just told you. Yes. For you to have faith, you have to believe and trust God with all your heart. That's the only way. Sometimes, church, tell you, let me elaborate on this faith so that you all can get it today. Because we're going to be talking about it the rest of our life. Mm -hmm. Because with, without faith, we can't please God. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you pray. Mm -hmm. You pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. You're asking God mm -hmm. to do this for you. You want to buy a new house. You want to buy a new car. Mm -hmm. You want a new job. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want, you pray. Hallelujah. But guess what? God did not answer you. Mm -hmm. God is not answering you. Like a typical human being that we are. Mm -hmm. We all we say best of the same feather fly together. Mm -hmm. We start looking, talking to talking, talking, mm -hmm. and people start wondering, you start wondering, they're sharing the same view with you. Yeah. Then you start having doubt about God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You start having doubt because you pray. You say, I'm praying. Why is God didn't answer me? Mm -hmm. Why God? Listen to me, church. God said in the Bible. That everything with me is possible. Why is this not possible? God told me, He said, Knock, it shall be open. But I'm knocking, it's not opening. Church, you know what God said? When we petition to God like this, all we're doing is complaining. <laughs> That's what the problem is. We are complaining. We are complaining. That's why God don't hear us because we complain. When we complain, our faith collapses. 
diminish. Mm. When God don't answer you, He do it intentionally. He didn't want to hear you. You complain. He wants you to trust and believe in Him with all your heart. Yes, He wants you to believe Him with all your heart. Very simple, but it's not simple to implement because we are dealing with distraction. They are a faith. You know our faith sometimes distract. It's distraction. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because we live on earth. Yes. Like I said last week, Christians have two lives. One here on earth and in heaven. Mm -hmm. And on earth here, we see all the bad things. We are influenced. Mm -hmm. We get distracted. Mm -hmm. But in heaven, we don't. That's why I told you all last week. I said, what I'm doing, is, I'm doing it now at my age. Thank God. It's not too late. And that's why I'm passing the message to you, 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 you. To make a change and trust God. Start walking, start looking at things, not on earth. Look at things above. Because you didn't come here with no car. You didn't come here with no house. That is why I'm telling, that is why I'm telling people, I say, you know what? I am so comfortable. I am so comfortable with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I do this thing with love. With all my heart. Yeah. I know sometimes people get skeptical because I just come back from Houston. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. To go and pray with the family. And you know what? Mm -hmm. I do it with all my heart, with joy. Yes, thank you. Yes. I didn't ask for no gas money. <laughs> I didn't ask you to pay for my motel. Yes. I didn't ask you to pay for my feeding. Yes, I didn't ask you to do anything. I was doing it with joy. Yes, indeed. And I love doing it because God provided means for me to do it. Come on now, hallelujah. Yes. <clears throat> when you heal, when you do whatever you do, whatever you do, church, I want this to get into you as we're talking about faith today. Make sure your heart is aligned with God. And that's why I'm here today to make sure we bridge that gap that is separating us from God. Because with no faith, without faith, is going to, God is going to separate. There's no, there's no relationship. Faith is the mechanism of relationship with God. I tell people every day, you all heard me say that, you can read from Genesis to Revolution, know everything in the Bible, and everything in there, good. But without faith, Nothing, all those stuff, God doesn't listen to it. Yes. Because you faith comes by two words like this, what we said last time about faith. Is that you have to listen to God and you have to obey. Yes. So you cannot go and be reading the scripture from A to Z and you not listen to God, you not obey him and you ask him to bless you. No. God doesn't do that. You don't need to do research about that. God doesn't do it. So my job is to bring this to the attention of the world so that you don't miss out on God's blessing. Because the more I leave the spirit in you are so that you can realize it takes the spirit in you to come. Oh, it takes the spirit in you to align with God's spirit. Not your flesh. Don't be deceiving yourself. So where well, I know how to serve my God. Oh, I read my Bible. I give money to church. Oh, I have this one. Listen, God will be the judge of that. Hallelujah. We need to trust God with all our heart. That is why you say sometimes God does not listen to what you're asking him. Because your faith is not there. You are complaining. 
You have to have faith. Mm. And faith foundation comes from hearing him. Wow. And when you hear him, what do you do? You obey. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you. you think God is going to reward you for disobedience? No. Mm. But this one is going to do because it's a God of mercy. It's not going to abandon you. He will continue to walk with you mm. so that you can hear him. So that you can adjust Thank you. and trust Him with all your heart. So that you can be able to get those things that you're asking for. It's there. In my father had there are many mansions there. Yeah. If it was not, he would have told us so. Yes. If not, he would even build you one. Let's go to James. Hallelujah. We already read there. Let's stay on James 2.19, please. 2.19. Let's see what the Lord is telling us there. He said, church, he said, you believe that there is one God, right? Mm -hmm. You believe there is one God? Yes. Mm -hmm. You do well. Mm -hmm. Even the demon believe and travel. Hallelujah. You already, you already read your Bible. It's in there. That, on, that's what I told you earlier. Yeah. I'm just substantiating what I said. Mm -hmm. The devil know God. Mm -hmm. He believes in God. You, you see, sometimes, not even sometimes, you know this arm robber, all these people doing evil? Before they go rob a bank, sometimes they say, Lord, don't let me be caught. <laughs> you see that? Hallelujah. Mm. That's deep. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. The devil knows. He knows God very well. And not only that, he believed in God. He knows that he believed in God. But they have to flee. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he's obsessed with his distraction wow. or what he possessed, just like he deceived Eve. That is why, church, when you have faith and you walk in spirit, you will hear the spirit. You will hear God, church. You will hear God. Yes, indeed. Woo. I'm telling every one of you all over the world. If you trust God with all your heart, you will hear Him. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. That's what God wants. There's nothing you don't need to buy. You don't need to do anything. Thank you, Lord. There's nothing you need to do. All you got to do is obey. And you get peace that you're looking for. You got everything that you're asking for. Now, there's another faith. We call dead faith while ago. James spoke about it. And James also spoke about this, you know, demonic faith. Now, let's go to vain. Vain. V-A-I-N. Vain faith. Let's look at Matthew chapter 7. Verse 21 and 23. Okay, kids, come on. You all need to call it that we're in church, okay? Yes. All right. Matthew chapter 7, mm -hmm. 21 to 23. Mm -hmm. Somebody read that for me. Let me relax here and just listen to the word of God. Because I am so, oh man, I am so joyful. Every time when it's time to come to church here, I am dancing and dancing and we pray because I love to come and share the word of God with the world. I told my wife, remember what I told you this morning? I said, I am ready to go share the word of yes. God with the world. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Okay. If only I could just touch one soul. Yes. That's what he wants us to do. One soul at a time. You know, one soul at a time. Yes. Let me let you all get it. You know, wait for my sister to get it first. Yes. Okay. You got it? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Matthew chapter 7. Me, I've not even got it, but I'll listen to you. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 through 23. Very powerful. Let's listen to the word of God. Let's go. All right. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. 
many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. Oh, see Hallelujah. that? <laughs> Is that not what we say while they go to church? Yes, Is that not what we say while they go? Yes, you see, people do not understand. Yes. God is a good God. Yes, when we say God is good, we say all the time, yes. it is true. Yes. God is a good God. He knows what is your mind before you say it. That's where the devil, that's where we have the superiority over the devil because the devil cannot read our mind. Mm -hmm. But God does. Yes, <laughs> yes indeed, God does. He, yes. he knows. Before you open your mind, he already knows. Mm -hmm. Before you ask for anything, he already knows what you're asking for. Yes, mm. 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 Father God, now, let's move to saving faith, okay? Saving faith. That's the one. You know, we have four mm -hmm. areas that we're looking at when you talk about faith. Dead faith. Mm -hmm. We talk James talk about that. James also talked about demonic mm -hmm. and vain. And Matthew spoke about that. Now Ephesians. Apostle Paul said is it go to Ephesians mm -hmm. chapter 2, verse 8 through 10, please. Ephesians. Mm -hmm. Ephesians. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Ooh, I'm so joyful. If you all know how I feel inside me, I wish everybody, I could let everybody come and take a talk, talk in my heart and see how I feel. Because I'm very joyful, very happy because there is nothing in this world that makes me happy working for the Lord. This is the best job. I tell everybody every day. I've had management job. You can name it. But this is the best job that God, because, oh my goodness. Come on now. Because I'm making a difference in people's life. That's what's bringing me joy. Yes, yes, that is what is bringing me joy. Yes, That's what makes me get up. I can't wait. I'm looking at the time. I've been studying since, since you know, 1 o'clock till almost 7 or 8 o'clock this month. I'm, I can't wait to come here and deliver. Yes, to make a difference in your life. Yes, yes. Some people... When the minister, I've, we've been, I've, I've been in the ministry, going to church all my life. Let me tell you what. Some people, when the pastor don't show up for church, the people don't show up, mm -hmm. the church will be empty, half empty. Mm -hmm. eh? Are you coming there to worship the church? And some people, he said, the pastor make me mad. I ain't going to church today. Mm -hmm. Who are you punishing? Mm -hmm. Who, church? Come on now. You. Yes. You, you're losing your blessings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're losing your blessings. Because the blessing is there for you. When you start crying to God, 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 come help me. He will tell you, he's going to remind you, oh, now you remember me? But as good as God is, he always opened the door for you. But there's consequences for disobedience. And that's why we're here today preaching this word. Come on now. Okay, anybody got the Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 10? Hallelujah. Verse 8 and 10. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes. Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. Yeah, I mean, the different. Place. Go ahead, go ahead, church. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and be become obedient to the point of death, even, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. That at the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every knee should bow. What, uh, what chapter are you reading as well? Ephesians. 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 Okay. Ephesians. Let me pick it up back. That's okay. Let me tell you what. When I'm going to correct something here. Sometimes when you're reading the Bible, there is nothing like a wrong scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because all I want to tell you today, that's why I told you all, the blessing, the anointing of the, uh, the anointing mm -hmm. that God anointed me with, I hear him. Mm -hmm. This is an evidence of that. Mm -hmm. I was not even there yet. I was in a different time. But I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I study all night. Amen. You know, 
I can feel it because God spoke to me, but he's letting me to let you know there is nothing to say I'm sorry about because the word of God is the same. It's all, it's all related. Amen. It's nothing to, Amen. to worry about. Amen. It's all good. Amen. All right. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Ephesians chapter 2, verse Amen. 8 through 10. Amen. Hallelujah. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that of yourself, it is the gift of God. Hold on. You all hear that? Yes. He says the gift of God is not what you do. Yes. Amen. It's all about the spirit, church. I want you all to get this. Nothing else today is all about the spirit. Okay, go for it. Go ahead. Yes. Verse 9. Not of work, lest anyone should boast. Stop there. You know what? I read this somewhere in the Bible. I don't know where it is. And I'll be saying this word. You are here to be my witness. You can go to the video 10 years ago, 20 years. But I always tell people, I say, I boast. Mm -hmm. Me? I boast. Mm -hmm. What do I boast? I boast about knowing God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yeah. And I read it somewhere. I say, God, mm -hmm. you really speak it to me because I didn't read it. I didn't read it. Yeah. He told me. And that's how I got to know. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Three. Verse, verse 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good work, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Amen. Father. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Amen. You know, Amen. we got a map to follow. We got a road to follow. Thank you, Amen. Father. Hallelujah. Be the Praise the Lord, church. Woo! I'm so much. The, if I tell you the joy in my heart. Amen. I don't know how to express it. For me to be able to use the word of God to make a difference is amazing because I just want the best for everyone. That's why I said, God bring peace to Israel because that's God said, these are my choosing one. But even back then, you already, you already the Bible. They were very disobedient. They were disobeying. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And you all know what God did, right? Mm -hmm. All right, then. Yes. <laughs> and that's what I know that day. Yes. Okay? Hallelujah. Because what is happening today mm. from Gaza to Jerusalem, to the, this is where Jesus Christ yes. did all his job. Yes, yes indeed. Mm. Wow. And we are destroying it. Mm. Hallelujah. Because of ignorance. Hallelujah. Because we act upon our desire. Mm. That's what God is talking about. When you have faith, stuff like that will not happen. Yes, indeed. If you have faith. Mm -hmm. yes, if you indeed. have faith. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to, in conclusion, to read that this is, uh, in conclusion, this is, this what happened to me. That's why I told you, my dear first lady, I told you a while ago what you read. You are not wrong. You read, you're reading the right scripture. Okay. Because it happened to me mm -hmm. last night as I was studying, mm -hmm. studying all night. Mm -hmm. And the scripture that I was supposed, that was recommended for me to study mm -hmm. for faith, I was reading this chronicle. Mm -hmm. Instead, I even have it here somewhere, but that's okay. Instead of Corinthians, mm -hmm. I was reading chronicle. Mm -hmm. No, instead of a chronicle, I was reading Corinthians. Mm -hmm. But after I wrote, read both of them, God spoke to me and said, it was not a mistake. I want no, you no. to go with the Corinthians. The one you thought it was a mistake. Wow. <laughs> so let's go to 1 Corinthians. Oh, Corinthians. Okay. Chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse 9 through 14. Amen. Let's do that. That's what, so that's why I was telling you, sharing that experience with you, first lady said, mm -hmm. you did not read the wrong scripture. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> you did not. Thank you, Father. <laughs> there is no who, who, who. It's yes, yes, yes. Come on now. <laughs> because everything about God is good. good. All this word in the Bible here, the scripture, is inspired. Mm -hmm. Every word here is inspired by God. God. Yes, yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And they are all related. Go look at Luke. Go look at Matthew. Go look at Ephesians. Mm -hmm. All this word, the Apostle Paul contribution mm -hmm. to the scripture. He wrote most of this. He wrote everything, most of the stuff yeah. in there. But guess what? He wrote them uh, ministry to you this yeah, morning. This he wrote them in the, in the prison. Yeah. And they said that this is where faith coming. Okay, here we go now. On, this is where faith coming. When he was in prison, he was calling God. God did not answer him. But he didn't give up. Because that's where faith. Okay. What about Sarah? 
Come on now. Woo, yes. Yes. Just you all see the faith? When God promised that he's gonna have a, she's gonna have a child, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was the faith that manifests mm -hmm. into reality. That's true. Hallelujah. <laughs> it was the faith. Faith is very powerful. Wow. God said, without faith, mm. you can't please me. You can't do nothing with me. The relationship between me and you mm. is true faith. Yes, indeed. Mm. How am I going to deal with you when you don't trust me? Mm. Why, I wanna, why do I want to why, why, why do I want to be with you when you don't trust me? Mm. Why do I want to do business with you mm. when you don't trust me? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You deal, if you don't trust me, you're dealing with the flesh because for you to have faith, you have to be in spirit. Come on yes. now. Yes. Mm -hmm. It take ones to know one. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Come on now. All right. Yeah. Church, let's go for 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 9 through 14. Amen. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 through 14. Mm. Hallelujah. But as it is written, I has not seen seen, no ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, yes, to the deep things of God. For what man know the things of What chapter? Where are you now? Now I'm at 11. 11, okay. Okay. Eleven. We, are, we are talking about, oh, 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 yeah, I'm sorry, I'm First sorry. Corinthians. First Corinthians. Chapter, yes, chapter 2. No, sorry about that. Go ahead, go ahead, church. Yes, go ahead. Chapter 2, 9. Yeah. Yes, yes, go ahead, church. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Verse 11. Yeah, I was not there. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Verse 11. I'm there now. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay, verse 11. For what man know the things of mm -hmm. a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Mm -hmm. Even so, no one know the things of God except the spirit of God. That's right. Okay. Nobody know. Yes. He take one to know one. Yes. He take the spirit of God in you yes. to know the spirit communication from him. Yes, indeed. Yes. Mm. Because with, uh, with flesh, mm. that ain't going to work. That ain't going to do it. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. That could do it. Go ahead, Spirit. Bless be in the name of God. Yes. Verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God. Yes. That we may know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak, not in words which men wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? You know, sometimes we can be intellectual. We can read all the books, we can have all the degree in the world. That does not give mm. us any accessibility mm. to the spirit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It does not. Yes, indeed. Wow. That's beautiful. You have to be in spirit mm -hmm. for you to have the deliverance of spirit. Yes. That's why most things don't happen to us because we are not in spirit. We are complaining. Yes. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Verse 14. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can be known them, because they are spiritual discernment. You see what it said? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness gracious. God is so good. Yes, Lord. God is so good. God is so good. I am, you know, thank God. Thank God Almighty. Thank God, thank the Holy Spirit. You know, thank the Holy Spirit for His mercy, for everything that He has done for us. Because He has made the ultimate sacrifice, you know, He has made the ultimate sacrifice, church. Praise the Lord. As we come to the conclusion of today's ministry, which is going to be in continuation, because we have our second ministry coming up, we're going to be speaking to the family here today that God wants to have an amazing. I don't know what God has for you all, but I know everything about God is good. Amen. Yes. You know, 
because this ministry is a ministry of deliverance. It's a ministry of healing. It's a ministry of prophecy. It's a ministry where you cast demon away from people. It's a ministry where you wake up the dead. And God have used this ministry to do all that. Amen. <laughs> to God be the glory. So we will continue to rise above the devil all the time. Amen. The devil don't have nothing on us. And we will never give a room. Because our faith is stronger and stronger and stronger. That whatever we trust God with all our heart, we will achieve it and we will receive it. And we are here today to let you all know that faith is how you break relationship with God. I'm urging every one of you out there to trust God and believe God with all your heart. I've been saying this for years. Saying is one thing. Doing it is another thing. Trust God with all your heart. Don't make any excuses. Don't complain. Trust God. He will deliver. He will make it happen for you. All those things that you think is impossible, God can make it possible. But you have to believe in Him. You have to trust Him. My brothers and sisters, all of you all over the world, those of you here, those of you out there, I pray. That's my strength. Pray for every one of you every day. For God to give you the strength and deliver the spirit of faith and discernment so that you can be able to overcome all your obstacles. I pray for God to continue to be with us and give us room to grow with Him because there is nothing joyful like serving God. Yes, I love you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave. I still want.